Today's easy is called Bounce, and it's kind of a theme that I've already done before. Like, literally a couple days ago. So, in case you can tell, they're trying to get you to use Juggernauts to beat this challenge, but... They also want farms and spike factories. So what I'm kind of thinking, since we already did Juggernaut spam this map before, I'm kind of feeling like being a rebel, and using any everything but Juggernauts to beat this. Of course we'll start with the spike factory. 1-0-0, zero, zero. we got no MK by the way. So the only reason you can do this is because NK still doesn't have a way for you to disable upgrades for the Dart Monkey. So like, if they wanted you to use Dart Monkeys or Juggernauts only, they would cross out some pads, so you wouldn't be able to use the crossbow or the triple darts, but you can. And I think this challenge is doable without needing any Juggernauts or spikes at all. So uh, they should rename this challenge a No Bounce, because that's what we're going to do. I think we can get away with a 100 spike for a while, so I'm just upgrade some farms in the meantime. Maybe a 200 and then we'll start getting some defense. Hedge is pretty long, so perfect for the spike factory. Gives it tons of time for uh, spikes to accumulate. Yeah, honestly, this challenge is pretty easy. I feel like they shouldn't have allowed you to use spike factories. I mean, is it really necessary? Aside from, like, preserving NLL? Don't think so, in my opinion. But yeah, let's get a crossbow. Quick shots first. Only 7 rounds to leads. Oh yeah, leads, right. Well, easy solution for that. The only way you can pop leads with a dart monkey is, well, using Juggernauts, but again, don't want to use it. So the only way to pop leads in this challenge, using the White Hot Spikes, yes. We can basically upgrade our spike factory to full, honestly. We honestly don't even need that many dart monkeys. Let's get this guy to like 320. Think that'll be nice. Also, I don't think farms are needed at this point. Why don't we just get spike mines and call this a day? I mean, this thing should sold up to 50, right? If we sell everything here. Please, NLL, thank you. Let's get our spike mines now and call this challenge a day. I mean, we do have one prospect, but I'm gonna, just leave, I'm gonna just leave it there. Hopefully, this spike mines can solo to around 50. I mean, what kind of $15,000 tier 4? can't solo the easy rounds. I'd be really disappointed if it couldn't. Uh, Rio Farm. Um, let's sell a crossbow for that. <laughs> Doing more harm than good, actually. Okay, Rigo Rainbows. Gotta get rid of our crossbow, so that they don't screw up our, uh, Spike Mines. You know, Spike Mines are supposed to be good versus, uh, Group Balloons, but apparently, uh, a massive Rigo farm where a mini Rigo farm gets through it. So, please tell me you can solo 43. Oh no. Do we really have to pull up an another like Dart Monkey? I think so. It doesn't look like this is enough. Which is very, very, very underwhelming. Disappointed. Even 44. Come on. Jesus. Yeah, this ain't gonna uh, survive much longer. Let's see. Come on, Fort Zoo Spike Factory. Do something. At least these rainbows. There we go. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, well, Fort Zoo Spike Factory sucks. Let's get some non juggernauts. How about some crossbow armies at the back? There we go. Play. Also, look at this. The line of sight. If I put this on last, it might occasionally shoot through this hedge. See that? Interesting. Interesting little quirk about this map. And with that, I think we should be fine, right? These sharpshooters are pretty... kind of decent. And end a challenge. No juggernauts required. A little too easy in my opinion. So today's AC is called Advanced Village. Seems kind of interesting, we got increased balloon health, no MK, and a weird combination of towers. One Jones, one Spike, one Village, and a bunch of subs, unlimited of them. Guess we'll give it a run and see how hard it is. So yeah, since we don't have MK, we can't really start off with anything except the sub. But as you can see on this map, there's not really any good spots for subs. Well, there used to be the crates, but sadly they removed that spot. Back in our old days, we used to be able to place crates in that spot. Clearly the best spot for water towers on this map, but sadly, 
no more. So I think the best way to probably do this is tank round one. We have 50 lives at least. And then place Jones on round two. Because I don't think placing a sub on that water on the left corner is going to help us very much. Jones first and then I guess Spike Factory after. As much as a meme as he is, he's really not that bad now. So we should be able to get through this just fine. Yep, end of this round and we can get our sub. Or Spike. Right at the back over here. And I guess we work towards a sub next. So again, there's not really many good sub spots on this map. But if I were to place a sub anywhere, it would probably be right here at the top. Just so it gets that tiny, tiny bit of range at the top. Of course we'll get to advance until later. With Jones at the front, it should pretty much give us the range of the entire track. But yeah, if only this challenge allowed us to place maybe more, more non-sub towers, otherwise we could probably give infinite range to these subs. And sadly, powers don't work by the way. That I found out a while ago. You can't use the range from any powers to give your subs extra range. Like if it plays a farmer up at the front over here, the sub isn't going to be able to attack the blues at the front. Unfortunately. Alright, more than enough money now. Let's just get an airburst starts real quick. And so far, well, no challenge of this challenge. Maybe the hard part comes later, but for now, don't think anything is going to kill us. Not even close to, at least. Alright, camo's this round. Let me just get a village real quick. I guess we'll put it under Jones. Yeah, right over... Actually, we could just let the spike tank it, but let's place the village over here. Give Jones some camera protection, plus some camera lead detection as well. And yeah, honestly at this point, I guess we just keep on spamming more subs. I wonder if I place a sub over here, if it's going to have enough range to reach, you know, this very, very, very tiny corner of the track, just so our subs can have some advanced intel on it, some range on it. But I don't think it's going to reach, even with uh, increased range. No, it's not going to reach. Well, I guess it will reach for like more class balloons, but... For these rounds, yeah, not really of much use. So yeah, we got 2-0-3 on that guy. And still, so far, no challenge. I mean, I guess this challenge does have increased mob health. And generally, the game doesn't specify how much it has. I mean, it could be like 2x more mob health. 10x, 4x. That could change up the difficulty a little bit. Because right now, that seems like the only remotely hard round. Depending on how much HP it has. So I guess we'll wait and see until then. Alright, time for the first potentially remotely tough round. And let's take a look. Already it's damaged, so I don't know. Doesn't look like that much extra health, no. Like 2x at most. Kinda underwhelming. So honestly, I feel like we just spam like 2 0 3 subs to victory. And that's really all we have to do for the rest of this. Don't need to do any fancy micro. No buying and reselling. I think just mindlessly spamming our way to victory is the easiest. Easiest possible solution at this point, so I guess we'll just do that and uh, see you at the end. A few inches later. So as I said again, mindless spamming, and this is how far it gets us, all the way to the end. Hell, even got a spike storm just for kicks. Although we probably don't even need it. The subs should be more than enough of uh, BFB and balloon pump power. But why the hell not? We got three extra K as well on top of that, which we don't even need. And we'll just kill off the rest of this, and yeah, not even close. And that's it. A little too easy for my liking. From what I can see, it looks pretty, uh, yeah, pretty lame. So, uh, inanimate object towers, off the coast reverse. Not too hard. I could probably do this with my eyes closed, let's, let's just try. We start on round 3 with a ton of extra cash, I don't know why. Do we even need that much cash? I don't think so. Regardless. I need some popping power, hold on. I said this was easy, so uh, probably best for me not to die. Embarrass myself. Would have lost without MK. Still easy. See, I was thinking with my eyes closed. Wait for me to play with my eyes open, and then... Might be a little different. But apparently a new tower's coming soon. And I gotta restart that. Alright, so what you're saying is easy, but still easy. I want to open my eyes now. Alright, there we go. What sports do I like? You mean watching? Uh, NBA? All the three major sports. When I say major, I mean, uh, in Canada. Football is not popular in Canada. At least I think. It's all about hockey in Canada? Not really. I mean, depends on where you live. 
Canada's very multi... Multicultural, yes, that, that word. You can place a spike factory on the ship? Alright, good idea. Nice. Not that part of the ship? Oh, sorry. Yeah, there we go. Alright, GG, this AC was so boring that I almost fell asleep doing it, but we won. With almost no difficulties.